So Rose is now going to present to us on friendship and health. Hello, everyone. Hello, friends. This congregation for a few years now, I consider you all my friends. Thank you for being my friend. I value this congregation and I know belonging is good for me, both mentally and physically. But don't take my word for it. Let's find out what the scientists say. Friendship is the enjoyment of each other's company, trust, and the ability to be oneself, express one's feelings to others, and make mistakes without fear of judgment from the friend. Friendship is an essential aspect of relationship building skills. Establishing good friendships at a young age helps a child to be better acclimated to society later on in life. Potential benefits of friendship include the opportunity to learn about empathy and problem solving. Kennedy Moore outlines developmental stages in children's friendship, reflecting an increasing capacity to understand others' perspectives. His books include, I Want It My Way, What's In It For Me, by the rules, caring and sharing, and friends through thick and thin. In adolescence, friendship becomes more giving, sharing, frank, supportive, and spontaneous. Relationships begin to maintain a focus on shared values, loyalty, and common interests. Findings indicated that adolescents were less likely to engage in problem behavior when their friends did well in school, participated in school activities, avoided drinking, and had good mental health. Research within the past four decades has now consistently found that older adults reporting the highest level of happiness and general well being also report strong, close ties to numerous friends. As family responsibilities and vocational pressures lessen, friendships become more important. Among the elderly, friendships can provide links to the larger community, serve as a protective factor against depression and loneliness, and compensate for potential losses in social support previously given by family members. Especially for people who cannot go out as often, interactions with friends allow for continued, continued social interaction. Additionally, older adults in declining health who remain in contact with friends show improved psychological well being. I remember my mom saying when she was in her 80s, my friends are all dying. I need to make new friends. And she would join a group or a club and make new friends. She was a good friend. When her friend Audrey got divorced, my parents had her fly to Florida. They drove her three hours from Fort Lauderdale to Marathon to take an elder hostel class. That's a, a class for seniors and picked her up a week later. It really helped Audrey to get over her sadness and start a new chapter in her life. Friendship provides companionship, affection, as well as emotional support and contributes positively to mental well-being and improved physical health. Numerous studies with adults suggest that friendships and other supportive relationships enhance self-esteem. Studies have found that strong social supports improve a person's prospects for good health and longevity. Researchers still do not know if there is a cause and effect relationship 
such as the notion that good friendships actually improve health. A number of theories have attempted to explain this link. These theories have included that good friends encourage their friends to lead more healthy lifestyles, that good friends encourage their friends to seek help and access services when needed, that good friends enhance their friends' coping skills in dealing with illness and other health problems, and that good friends actually affect physiological pathways that are protective to health. Higher friendship quality directly contributes, contributes to self-esteem, self-confidence, and social development. A World of Happiness database study found that people with close friendships are happier, although the absolute number of friends did not increase happiness. A friend is someone who understands your past, believes in your future, and accepts you just the way you are. Good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know that they are always there. A friend is one of the nicest things you can have and one of the best things you can be. Friendship means familiar and liking of each other's mind. People who are friends talk to each other and spend time together. They trust one another and also help each other when they are in trouble or are hurt. Friends are people that can be looked up to and trusted. Research has shown that the better the quality of your relationships, the more likely you are to be happy. So being a great friend to someone and having friends support your back is good for your well-being. Ralph Waldo Emerson told us, the only way to have a friend is to be one. <clears throat> a recent Harvard study concluded that having solid friendships in our life even helps promote brain health. Friends help us deal with stress, make better lifestyle choices that keep us strong and allow us to rebound from health issues and disease more quickly. Friendship is equally important to our mental health. Here's some information from the science of friendship by Lee Mandel, March 8, 2017. Friends are important, so important in fact, that it's been proven that friendship can extend life expectancy and lower chances of heart disease. Friendship helps us survive. Part of why that is has to do with what happens in our brains when we interact with other humans. A 2011 study detailed the role of neurobiological endogenous opioid system the stuff in our brains that make us feel good. In positive social relationships, in 2016, researchers found evidence of the release of oxytocin in primate brains during social interactions. And later that year, psychologists conducted a study that suggested levels of pain tolerance can predict how, much, how many friends someone has. Here's a rev, rev, relevant quote from Thomas Aquinas. There is nothing on this earth more prized than true friendship. Professor Karen Roberto of Virginia Tech wrote in the article, Healthy Living for the Mind and Brain. Friendship is an undervalued resource. The consistent message of these studies is that friends make your life better. Positive friendships are associated with longevity. A 10-year Australian study found people with solid groups of friends were 22% more likely to live longer than individuals with fewer friends. Surprisingly, the research also found 
family and children to have no influence, no influence on the participants' longevity. It has been proposed leading an intellectually stimulating life may foster cognitive vitality. Cognitive vitality, I want some of that. Friends often have common interests, stimulating mental engagement and encouraging quick thinking, all helping to keep the brain active. And when sick, friends are especially important. In a study of nearly, nearly 3,000 nurses with breast cancer, those with, close, those with close friends were nearly four times less likely to die from their illness than those without close friends. The proximity and amount of contact the participants had with their friends was not associated with survival. It was just important to know that they were there. This finding emphasizes the importance of mind over matter. Survival is heavily influenced by wanting to live. Friends can help us stay positive and see the next day. I have used the power of friendship to make myself feel better. When I was having chemotherapy for stage four neck cancer, I was unable to go to my volunteer gardening job at Bairdman Island. The gardeners would gather on the shore of the Hudson early in the morning and catch the work boat to the island. It's a dream job. You get a boat ride, you get to garden all day in a beautiful location, and you get to hang out with volunteers, which are a special kind of people. So before I went to chemo, I would go to the river and see the gardeners before they got in the work boat. I would get a hug from everyone and then go off to chemo with the power of love inside me. Here's what you have to do to turn an acquaintance into a friend and a friend into a close friend. The eight key qualities you must demonstrate are priority, self-disclosure, touch, affection, loyalty, independence, acceptance, and willingness to change. It's not simple, is it? Friends take time. You don't need to talk to each other every day to know that they are there for each other. You go for long periods of time without talking or seeing each other, but can pick things up again as though you've never been apart. Friendship means a bond between people that connects them and lets them share each other's feelings and thoughts. Someone is your friend if you feel like you can tell them anything and you love to spend time with them. Goodnet.org says the seven signs of a true friend are good friends accept you for who you are. Friends stick around during the good times and the bad. A real friend celebrates life with you. True friends make the time to see you. A real friend will tell you the truth, even if you don't like it. A true friend encourages you to achieve your goals. I will conclude by reading a short book that my parents gave me when I was a little girl. It was published when I was three years old. I still have the book. Here it is. My book, look how I made my ease. <laughs> All right. A Friend is Someone Who Likes You by Joan Walsh Anglin, written in 1958. You can still get this book, $4.49 on eBay. It's for Bob, Joy, and Todd because they helped. Here we go. A friend is someone who likes you. It can be a boy, it can be a girl, or a cat, or a dog, or even a white mouse. 
a tree can be a different kind of friend. It doesn't talk to you, but you know it likes you because it gives you apples or pears or cherries or sometimes a place to swing. A brook can be a friend in a way. It talks to you in splashy gurgles. It cools your toes and lets you sit quietly beside it when you don't feel like speaking. The wind can be a friend too. It sings soft songs to you at night when you are sleepy and feeling lonely. Sometimes it calls you to play. It pushes you from behind as you walk and make the leaves dance for you. It is always with you wherever you go and that's how you know it likes you. Sometimes you don't know who are your friends. Sometimes they are there all the time, but you walk right past them and don't notice that they like you in a special way. And then you think you don't have any friends. Then you must stop hurrying and rushing so fast and move very slowly and look carefully to see someone who smiles at you in a special way or a dog that wags its tail extra hard whenever you are near, or a tree that lets you climb it easily, or a brook that lets you be quiet when you want to be quiet. Sometimes you have to find your friend. Some people have lots and lots of friends, and some people have quite a few friends, but everyone, everyone in the world has at least one friend. Where did you find yours? That's the end. We're ready for comments.